Hi there, this is Becca Compton, and this is my NTNA Season 7 Cree Challenge number 2. For this second challenge, Swarovski has given us a persona of interest, and my persona was Style Setter. I really wanted to play with the concept of borrowing from an old trend and retrofitting it into something new. So here's my sketch idea for an Egyptian-based set. One hand will have the goddess Bastet among hieroglyphs, while the second hand will have an orange tabby centerpiece with emojis. I applied nail guards and sculpted the long coffins with gel product. After I finished sculpting and filing, I popped them off and then applied my first color of gelish curls and pearls. I cured it and added a second layer, and then I took this toasted almond by La Palme and dragged it through the curls and pearls, making a marble effect. I then top coated to seal the colors and then buffed the entire nail so I could prepare it for weathering with acrylic paint. I wanted a burnt papyrus look for the background of the nails. So I added Liquitex Flow Aid to my paint so that it would act like more of a glaze. I painted a ragged band around the edge with the very thin down version of the brown, and then added a second, smaller band with the thicker consistency. While that was still wet, I added black just to the edge all around the nail. I then matte top coated and penciled in my hieroglyphic designs. Then I painted over the designs in black acrylic paint. This is a technique I use if I'm worried about spacing or proportion, especially text, because all you have to do is after the paint dries is go in with a very soft eraser and take off those extra marks. I wanted to make almost jewelry settings for the big crystals. Scarabs for the ancient hand and then a swallow and mouse for the modern hand. I sculpted the shapes in polygel and then before curing it I took one of the big crystals, dipped it in alcohol so it wouldn't stick, and then pressed them in the place so that the crystal would have a good place to fit after I'd painted them. I base coated them in gelish Are You Lying to Me, and then did highlights with Give Me Gold. I then used acrylic paint to then further decorate portions of each of the settings. To make the cat sculptures, I traced my sketch design onto the back side of some foil paper, which I filled in with poly gel and then built that up in layers. I refined my sculpture with an e-file and then top coated it so it would be nice and smooth. I wanted the cat centerpieces to be exactly the same, so I made a mold using Instant Mold, which is a reusable, heat moldable putty. Run it under cold water and your flexible mold is ready to go. I made the Crystal Pixie Cat by coating the mold in a layer of Orly Builder in a bottle, and then pouring in the Crystal Pixies, curing, and then alternating these two until the mold had completely filled. For the Bastet Cat, I would coat the mold in the Builder in a Bottle and then mix in a little bit of the black gel polish so it would give it a smoke effect. I would then cure it and then repeat these layers until it, the mold was again full. Here is the unmolded cat sculpture and the edges just need a little clean up with an e-file. I then used some clear Builder gel to attach the crystal settings to their bases. I secured the cats on their nail bases and then outlined the features on the Smoky Cat in gold and the Crystal Pixie Cat in black. And now it's time to start applying the crystals. So of course I put some crystal eyes on the cat and give her a blinged out collar. I applied crystals to the rest of the nails and I really tried my best to incorporate the crystals into the symbols themselves. Then it's time to apply top coat so all the crystals are secured. Here is the finished nail set with modern on the left and the ancient on the right. I am so pleased with how this set turned out. So shiny and sparkly. Thank you so much for watching.